Welcome to my channel. I'm Zhang Jingxu. Let's look at the problem 20 in chapter 27. Chapter 27 is about magnetism. So there we can see three kinds of charged particles, proton, deuterium, and alpha particles, right, are accelerated by the same potential difference V and then enters a uniform magnetic field B. Ask you where they do circular motion. Ask you the radius for the circular motion. So how can we do that? We can see initially these uh, charged particles do accelerated by potential difference v. The energy is conserved, right? The kinetic energy on the particle equals to the electric energy, right? So this is one half m v squared divided by q times v. This Q we can consider as this charged particle's charge. And then the charged particle do the circular motion in the magnetic field. The Lorentz force be, uh, just act as central force, right? Q V B equal to mass times V squared divided by R. This is a circular acceleration, right? And then if we want to know the radius for this circular motion, we can write the function for it r equal to mv over qb, right? Now we need to look at the v, because m is given, q is given, b is given, what is v? So from this equation, we can get the v in this uh, function, right? Input the v inside. There, we get the function for r. As we can see, the radius for this uh, circular motion as 1 over b squared 2vm divided by q, right? So now we can solve it very easily. As for proton, the mass is mp, the charge q is e, one unit charge, so rp equal to this one, right? And the deuterium, and this is the second charged particle, uh, deuterium, we can see the mass is 2mb, the charge q is e, so this is a squared 2 times rp, right? Score 2 times Rp. So we write it there. Then for alpha particles, the mass become 4 times Mp. The charge become 2E. So this uh, 2 and this 4 becomes 2. Cancels so 1, 2, right? So you can still write it as a score 2 Rp. Thank you.